Hey everyone, it's Carl Brown here again. Today we're going to take a look at how to visualize any mode that you want in any key um, anywhere on the guitar neck. So uh, a few prerequisites for this, uh, this lesson is uh, you need to go to guitarlessons365.com and read the tutorial on understanding modes. It's just a free PDF tutorial that you can read. It has a few different ways of looking at modes so you can kind of understand um, what I'm going, what I'm talking about in this lesson, and if you haven't gone through uh, the visualizing major uh, scales, they have two two video lessons up for that. Um, you need to fully understand how to do that to grasp what's going on here. But if you can do those, if you understand the mode tutorial and you understand those major scale visualization videos then you're, this is going to be pretty easy to you. Okay? So, what we're basically going to do here is, is I'm going to, once again, try to stay in one area of the neck. Um, if you remember from the visualizing major scales, we kind of called, broke the neck up in regions, and the region was named after whatever note on the sixth string was in that area. So this is the F region that carries F, uh, covers F and F sharp, G region covers G, G flat, and G sharp. A, the A region is A, A flat, and A sharp, and, and so forth. So we're going to use that, and we're going to try to stay around the A region today. And obviously, if you can stay and play any mode in any key you want in just one area of the neck, you really know what you're doing, your modes. And um, the process of carrying this stuff around the neck is just when you I get used to all these three notes per string forms, which are what I'm using for this lesson, um, you, you, get, you know how they're connected. You, you play them enough, you know the shape going from the root, going into the shape built from the second. It's always the same. So if you can find your key in one spot, then you should be able to link it to all the other scale forms across the neck. Um, now we've talked about that in the visualizing major scales. So refer to those if you, if you really want to get don't know uh, how to do that, but that just kind of comes from you know familiarity with playing the forms. The way we're going to attack modes here is you're not going to have to really learn anything new. All mode, the basic church modes at least are, are part of the major scale, parent major scale. So the idea, if you if you read the mode tutorial, you'll know this. The idea here is to let's figure out what whatever mode it is that we want, what major key it is in. And then step two will just be to play that major key scales, and then you'll have that mode all you want. So let's get started. So we have, I'm going to stay in the A region here, and I'm, we're just going to say, let's say we wanted to play, we'll pick just a random modes, and we'll say, um, you know, something with an E bass so I can have a little E in, uh, underneath it. So let's say E Lydian, all right? So this is going to be a two step process. First step is you got to figure out what key E Lydian is in. Now, you should know by reading your mode tutorial that Lydian is always the fourth mode. So, you can very easily simply just count until you know, hopefully eventually you'll just know if um, what the, the E is the fourth note of what scale just instantly or by intervals by jumping back a fourth or whatever. But until you're that familiar with your keys, you may have to count back to the root. So what that means is if E is if we want E Lydian, then we say, okay, Lydian is the fourth mode in a major key. So we have to figure out what major key that is. So you just count E as being four, then count back to D as the three, C as the two, and then B as the one. And that tells you that this is some sort of a B key. Now then you'll try to determine what kind of a B key is it? Is it a B? or B flat key. You know that it's an E natural that we want because it's E Lydian, not E flat Lydian. And you know from your knowing your understanding your, your keys lesson, which is also at guitarlesson365.com, that B major is what is the E E natural is in B major. Not, so we know that E Lydian is in the key of B major. Then step two is just all right, let's figure out how to play B major from the A region. And this goes back to our visualizing major scales lesson. First of all, you got to know what kind of A is in B, is in the key of B major. And that's an A sharp. So we'll move this up to A sharp. 
and then it's the seventh tone in B major, so you will play the shape built from the seventh there. Okay, so basically what I played right there was a B major scale, but if I have an E in the bass, now your ear is going to relate that E as being the root. So now you're going to hear those B major scale notes, but as E as being the foundation, so it's going to, instead of sounding like B major, it's now going to sound like E Lydian. So it gets that mystical Lydian sound going. Let's try another one. Let's find an E Dorian. So first of all, Dorian, if you look at your paper, the, the mode, understanding modes lesson, it's the second mode. So E would have to be the second tone of D major. So well, that's our first step. Now we need to figure out how to play D major in this area of the neck. The kind of A that is in D major is an A natural and it's going to be on the fifth scale degree. So we play that shape built from the fifth off of A natural. And that gives us a D major scale. But once again, if we put an E kind of foundation under it, hopefully it'd be like an E minor seven chord, but just keep that E ringing and then play those over it and you have E Dorian. that nice dark bluesy E Lydian. I mean E Dorian, I'm sorry. So those are two completely different sounding modes, but we were able to change the keys right in this general area. So the key to understanding modes is something that we've already worked on. It's first of all, you have to know how to find the parent key for that mode. So whatever mode it is, you need to figure out how to count back to the one or count up. Say if it's this the Aeolian, which is a six mode, maybe you don't want to count all the way down to one, you can just go six, seven, one, just count up. Um, and then you figure out how to play that just like we did in the previous lessons in the major scale for that key. Now for modes, you need a modal uh, harmony underneath you, which means you need, uh, your ear needs to be relating. That's why I had this E going at all times. If I just play that D major scale or uh, e, uh, B major scales, it would sound like those keys. But if you have an E in the bass, it creates, that is what your ear relates as being the root, the foundation of the, like a kind of an E key. And then those same B major or uh, D major, they sound completely, have completely different sounds when played over an E root than when played over their regular uh, root, major root notes. Okay? So I'm going to be doing more lessons on this. Please go to guitarlessons365.com. Tell me what you think. Support the site. And um, I will uh, see you next time with uh, more modal lessons. Thanks. Bye-bye.